Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to replace the rear rotors on a Honda S2000. I'm replacing my rear rotors because I'm upgrading to some Urge Flow rear rotors, which I'll talk about in a future video. The first thing you want to do is get the rear of the car on jack stands, remove the wheels, and release the e-brake. Remove the two caliper guide pin bolts, holding the caliper in place with a 12mm box end wrench and a 17mm open end wrench. Place the 17mm wrench onto the slide pin and hold it in place while using the 12mm wrench to loosen the bolts. You might want to use a rubber mallet to break them loose as it can be difficult to get leverage. Pull the caliper off and place it somewhere where it won't hang by the brake line. Pull the brake pads out of the caliper bracket and set them aside. Now use a 14mm socket to remove the two bolts securing the caliper bracket to the knuckle. Once removed, set the caliper bracket aside. The last thing holding the rotors in place is two screws. These two screws are generally difficult to remove and will not be removed easily with a screwdriver. The right tool to remove these screws is a hand impact driver, which I will link down below. If a hand impact driver still doesn't work, you can drill the screw out, but that should be your last resort. With the screws removed, you can remove the old rotor and install the new rotor. If you plan on replacing the screws that hold the rotor in place, make sure to align the holes for the screws on the rotor with the holes on the wheel hub. Many people leave them out as they serve little functional purpose. If you do end up installing the rotor screws, hand tightening them should be plenty. Use a 14mm socket to tighten the bolts securing the caliper bracket in place. Torque them to 41 foot-pounds. Insert the brake pads back onto the caliper bracket. Chances are your new rotor is thicker than your old rotor, so you'll have to retract the brake caliper piston so that the caliper will fit. This process is slightly different from the fronts since the rears must be rotated back into place instead of simply being pushed. Use a 3 8 inch ratchet on the center of the rear brake caliper piston and rotate the piston clockwise to retract it. You will need to retract the piston into a perfectly aligned position so that the rear brake pads will correctly slip into the piston grooves. If you don't do this correctly, the brake pads will wear at an angle, so make sure that the piston is aligned correctly. It should just look like a plus sign. Keep note that pushing the piston back will also push fluid back up the brake lines, so make sure to keep an eye on your brake fluid reservoir. Reinstall the brake caliper and reinstall the two caliper guide pin bolts holding the caliper in place with a 12mm box end wrench and a 17mm open end wrench. Place the 17mm wrench onto the slide pin and hold it in place while using the 12mm wrench to tighten the bolts. Torque them to 17 foot-pounds. Finally, give the brakes a few pumps to ensure that the pads contact the new rotor, re-engage the parking brake, reinstall the wheels, and lower the car back down to the ground and enjoy your new rotors. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button and leave a comment down below for any DIY you'd like to see in the future.